Hello, hello, hello. How are you all doing? David Gainey here. Another Tuesday is upon us, so it's time for Tuesday tricks. This week we're going to be teaching you this. Needless to say, before we go any further, I want you to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and let us know in the comments how you get on. Let us know what you want to see next. And let's get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it down to this first section first. Okay, so this is made up of a drum. So we're going to start with the back foot and you're going to step down. So you're going to go step to heel, step to heel. Okay, try that. Step toe heel. After you've done step toe heel, we're going to drop that back heel. So it will be step toe heel drop. So step toe heel drop. We're going to have step with the back foot. We're going to have tip heel. And drop that left heel. One, two, three, four. One, front foot. Two, heel is three. Drop heel is four. One, two, three, four. Okay, try that again. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. I dig that heel in at the back. Make it nice and definite because that's going to be an important beat in this whole trick. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So after this, so we've got one, two, three, four, one, two. It's just brush forward and land it. Brush left. Okay? So it's one, two, three, four, one, two. Okay? One, two, three, four, one, two. One, two, three, four, one, two. Okay, now that we've got one, two, three, four, one, two. Try and speed it up. One, two, three, four, one, two. One, two, three, four, one, two. One, two, three, four, one, two. Okay, so what you might have noticed by now is this is a drum. You can easily flick this front foot. Okay, so you're gonna flick it after one, two, three. And three, you're gonna go in there in and out, okay? So, one, two, three, four, one, two. So when you're dropping that back heel, you're twisting back out. So, one, two, three, four, one, two. So that's how we're gonna add the twist in. One, two, three, four, one, two. One, two, three, four, one, two. I'm going to flick that two, three. So when you're flicking, so one, two, three. You're going to turn that on three in, and when you're dropping this back heel, you're going to flick it back out. When you drop that back heel, your foot should be back out to this side. Okay? Try it again. One, two, three, four. Tip, tip. You're brushing it up and you're landing it down. Push. Okay, so one, two, three, four, push. Okay, so let's do that fast. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, four, one, two. And again, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. Okay, next section. After we've done one, two, three, four, one, two, we're going to bring this left foot up beside it and click. So you've done one, two, then you're going to step, click. And you're going to drop that right heel. So take it from one, two, step, kick, drop my right, right heel. So you've got one, two, three, four, one, two, step, kick your heels, drop your right. Try it from the beginning. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, step, kick, drop. And again, two, Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Step, kick. Drop my right heel. And again, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Step, kick. Drop my right heel. Okay, I'm in the position now where I've dropped my right heel, so I've gone kick, drop. 
What I'm going to do now is twist my left foot all the way to the, toward pointing the same direction as my right foot. Okay, so we've kick, drop, and I'm going to turn. Kick, drop, turn. And when you drop that right heel, that's when your foot should turn. Because this is going to go one, roll out into this position, it's going to land, and you're going to step your foot in behind. When you're clicking down, when you just click and you're dropping this right heel, turn your left heel in the same direction as your right foot. So kick down. You're almost angling that left foot in the same direction so that you can twist your left heel out. Land it with your toe, and step in behind. So we're clicking down, we're turning it, swivel that heel out, land it on the foot, and step in behind. So again, we've clicked your heels and dropped. On that drop, your foot should be turned. One, two, three. Click drop, and on that drop, it should have turned. One, two, three. And again, click drop. On the drop, it turns. Turn, two, three. So let's run that from the top. So we're going back to one, two, three, four. One, two, step, kick, drop the right heel and turn. Heel, one, two. Okay? Together. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, step, kick, drop. Heel, one, two. And again. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Step, kick, drop, heel, one, two. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Step, kick, one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Step, kick, one, two, and three. Okay. So you can pause the video at this point if you want to go back over those steps. I suggest kind of stopping and kind of taking that in and keeping doing that over and over again. But just to finish off the move, we've got to the point where our right foot is behind. So our last beat would have been um, one, two. So that back foot would have been our last beat. Then I want you to step on your front foot and then brush out one, two. So again, our last beat of what we've learned so far is down with the right foot. Then you're gonna step with the left, step. You're gonna flick this right foot and turn it out. One, two. At the same time, we're pivoting this left foot in and out. So pivot, so both feet are turned in at one point. Turned in, turned out. Okay, so pivot, out. In, out. In, out. So again, after we've done kick and down and one, whatever you wanna call it, we're gonna step on the left foot to put our weight here and we're going to pivot the left foot in, turn the right foot in, and flick them both back out. So you're essentially doing one of these kind of a moves with your feet. So step, in, out. So step, in, out. Step, in, out. Okay, try that again. Two, three, four. Step, in, out. And when I say in, you're tipping the floor once. Step, tip, out. Step, tip, out. You're going to step onto that left foot. Step. Now what you're going to do here is you're going to pivot your feet, almost like a wave kind of effect to it. You're going to turn this left foot in, you're going to turn it out. You're going to turn this right foot in, and you're going to turn it out. On your way through, you're going to tip the floor with your right foot. So your right foot is essentially doing... So, one, two. Tipping, again, it's the same as tip and brush down. You're brushing through with your foot turned in and you're landing with your foot turned out. So brush, so it's step and on the brush my left foot turns in as well and they both turn back out when I land that right foot. So step, pivot, step, brush, and again, step, brush, so depending what you do after this trick, if you're just learning this trick in its own, I suggest learning it like this. Sometimes it's better to learn it with a little step at the end. So you would have done the piece with no gaps in between. 
that left foot at the back would just be that because you're more than likely going to go into something else after this now if you're just a beginner or if you're just learning this trick for fun there's no need to do that back step but majority of the time if an Irish dancer is putting this into this step they will need that back foot as the transition into the next move um, so I'm going to do it with that step at the end now so that you start getting used to it some of you will already have put it in uh, but just so you know I haven't added anything extra this is just say if you're putting it into a step you need that back foot there so again from the top two three four Again, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Okay, I'm gonna pick up the pace slightly. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Let's pick up the pace another tiny bit. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Perfect. So we're going to pick up the pace again. Try and go and do this a smile quicker. Now, I said, like I suggest again, take your time, move through these gears slow, slow and steady as you like. We're going to pick up the pace another little bit. Two, three, four. 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 So now we're going to go and do another bit faster and a little bit of pace, uh, pick up the pace a small bit. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Uh, this is quite a good one that can be adapted over depending on what kind of dance you're doing, be it a hornpipe, a jig, a reel, whatever it is. You can, you can alter the rhythm to suit it. Um, I think when we were breaking it down there, it sounded like a hornpipe because it was slowed down. Um, I think when you get faster progressively, it would suit a jig. And then naturally, the fastest one would probably suit a uh, reel the best. Um, just get, get a couple of questions like that every week. What dance would this suit best in and all that. So um, yeah, so the slower broken down bits would probably suit a hornpipe best um, at that kind of a pace because that's the pace of a hornpipe. Progressively getting faster would probably suit a jig and then this one would probably suit a treble reel or something like that, um, a showpiece. Um, it's quite a catchy kind of a trick. Um, it's very eye-catching. Um, so yeah, if you can get it right and get the right technique and all that, it can be very eye-catching. Uh, so we're just gonna do it three more times, uh, probably a treble reel pace. And uh, you can uh, rewind the video, like I say, at any time if you wanna go back a step to find the other timings. Um, but uh, this would be a treble reel pace for you. So there you have it, another Tuesday trick for you. Make sure you tag us in your social media attempts so that you get a chance to feature on the IDM Instagram or Facebook page. And we'll see you all again next Tuesday.